In this video I'll demonstrate how to use the school base anatomy module found on the website headneckbrainspine.com. Simply go to the website and scroll down until you come to the school base CT and MR anatomy module. It is a quite a large file at 20 megabytes and takes several minutes to load. For time's sake I've done that already. Now there is another module that just includes the CT only which is smaller and loads quicker. Click on the image and it'll load the module in another window. The interface, as you see here, includes three image sets, axials, coronals, and sagittals. They can be navigated by using the mouse wheel button or the left and right arrow keys, as well as by holding down the left mouse button and moving it about an image, you'll see the other planes move in synchrony. Structures become active when the mouse hovers over them and their name appears in the gray box on the bottom as you see there, for example, the occipital bone, the carotid canal here, temporal bone, and sphenoid bone seen there. Next I'll demonstrate what this drop-down menu does here at the top left. This allows the user to toggle between the CT image set, as well as an MR image set shown here, or an MRCT overlay image set shown here. Put it back to the CT. The other drop-down menu allows one to toggle on and off uh, structure highlights. By default, structure highlights are on. You can turn them all off. Structures are still active if the mouse hovers over them. Next, you can search for structures individually by, by finding them on this alphabetized drop-down list. For example, there's the hypoglossal canal. You click on it, and all three image planes, it appears here in yellow. Another example, we'll look at the foramen lacerum, click on it, it's found in all three image planes, it's the pink structure here, foramen lacerum. Another way in which structures can be turned off is simply by double clicking them. For example, here is the sphenoid bone, you move off of it, it turns off. If you double click it and move off of it, it remains on in all three image planes. And you can turn it off by simply double clicking it and moving off of it again. Well, hopefully you'll find this uh, module helpful. It wasn't easy to make, and there is much uh, to learn in the complex anatomy of the school base, and so hopefully you'll find it helpful. Thank you.